It's the Rock Man back at it again with Mo Squats. Day two is in the books, but the resurrection is off to a little rockier start than I had hoped. Kind of having to play with fire already, which does not put me at great ease for the success of this training block, but it is how it is sometimes. Uh, it's definitely going to lead to an unscheduled deload day or two <laughs> down the road. Uh, we'll just have to see, but. I was hanging on to a significant amount of muscle soreness in my right hamstring from last workout. So I was guarding it a little bit. And I don't like that because one of the goals of this block is to really dial in my patterning and eliminate any type of hip shift or compensatory strength associated uh, with something that could lead to hip shift. I don't want to be moving heavier weights and have weird compensatory strength issues. So I had to take five times the amount of warm-up reps that I usually do, uh, probably pushing 100 reps. And I'm not counting the bar as in this 100 reps. Uh, I'm talking about 105 kg and over, really babying the eccentric. And uh, I think that plays a large factor in how absolutely fucking smoked my quads feel right now. <laughs> So I just finished the workout and I wanted to talk about it briefly while everything is still fresh before this muscle soreness truly sets in. But I was able to dial in to a pretty solid groove without irritating that right hamstring. And I'm happy with the workout overall. I worked up to heavier than I have in quite a while and... Let's just focus on the positive things, right? Heavier than I have in quite a while. Didn't really feel that heavy. Uh, honestly, today, I could have gone for 10 with the last set if I wasn't <laughs> so fucking played out with all that extra shit, well, which is good news to me, man, uh, because typically to handle that kind of weight for 10 and up, I would need a belt, but... Not wearing a belt. My last training block, I didn't wear a belt for six, seven weeks, and it was very volume heavy. You know, eights and uh, eights and AMRAPs up to fifteen. I was feeling a lot of back pumps. I had to take long rests in between those sets because it was just so painful. The amount of pump that my lower back was getting, and. This time, I don't seem to be having any type of issue with that. So I think that I might stick with the fives to kind of, and just stack the fives to get my additional volume in. But uh, feeling really strong in the back. Uh, positioning's feeling really strong. And the weight is moving well. That's always good. Just <laughs> going to have to take an extra rest day or two. For these quads because they are pretty fucking wrecked at the moment anybody who says that the wide stance squat doesn't activate enough quad i've got to strongly disagree i don't do any exercise that's traditionally thought of as quad focused and my legs are 28 inches around so how do you explain that i hope you guys are training strong and as always thanks for watching